Dear students, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is Modeling Information Retrieval. In this video, I am going to cover Extended Boolean Model which comes under the category of Set Theoretic Model. Model Theory and Exercises are covered in this video. Now let us start. This is the taxonomy of Information Retrieval Model and under Boolean Set Theoretic Technique is there that is which is the advanced technique and in this Extended Boolean comes. First, we will see the theory points of extended Boolean model. Basic Boolean model is easy to understand. However, there is no provision for ranking. Also, for conjective queries, if documents contain either term, they are treated same way as irrelevant documents. Like the fuzzy model, a ranking can be achieved by easing the condition on set membership. It adds a concept of partial matching and word weighting to the Boolean model. Therefore, name is extended Boolean model. Combine vector model characteristics with the Boolean algebra properties. Here the concept is quite simple. The keywords are weighted as in the vector space model, but user can utilize AND and OR operator in the searches like Boolean model. Documents are ranked by similarity function as in the vector model. In the extended Boolean model, keywords local and global weights are first normalized by their highest scores and their products are calculated. Formal characterization of extended Boolean model. Here, normalize local weight for each document. So, we require to apply this formula. So, this similar formula was there in vector model. So, here it is represented by local L of ij. Local means it is applied for each document. L of ij is equal to f of ij divided by maximum of f of ij. So, here we get the value between 0 to 1. That is normalized value. Global weight across all documents. So here we are not calculating for each document but for across all documents and which is indicated by inverse document frequency. So to understand the extended Boolean model you should be aware with the vector model because it is based on the vector model and the simple Boolean model. Now for when we calculate the inverse document frequency we can use either this formula and if we want to apply with smoothing operation we can use this one plus formula also. Now here whatever that IDF is calculated, it is again normalized by having the maximum value of IDFI and after that we will calculate the document weight with respect to that particular keyword is nothing but the multiplication of LIJ into GI. Now here it is different for each document that is J and this is nothing but across all documents for that particular keyword. Therefore GI comes and here L of IJ. So you require to understand the terminology while writing this formula. Keyword space, keyword space representation for AND and OR operators for the two term queries. So this example or diagram is specified for two term queries. When we go for three term queries, our uh, formulas goes to change. Now we will see first for the two term queries. For AND queries, the 1-1 one -one point represents a case where both terms are present in document. And for OR queries, 0, 0 point represents the case where both terms are absent from a document. Thus, a document term weights add up value between 0 and 1. For a document J, mentioning the two terms W1J and W2J are the term assignment can be described by the two dimensional word space. Now see, this is we are giving the queries in which only two terms are there. Now if we apply the simple boolean operator and if for example the terms are A and B. So when we use A and B means that A and B both terms should be present in document then only documents can be retrieved. And either one of the term is present document will not be retrieved. And for OR queries even the document contains any one of the term the document get retrieved. But here the problem is that uh, for normal boolean model or simple boolean model for AND queries even one of the term is absent it is not retrieving the documents so that condition is eased in the extended boolean model now this is for the two term query so 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 now here we are when we are using AND operator we are taking the distance from the 1 1 and when we are when we are using AND operator we are taking the distance from 1 1 and when we are taking the or operator we are taking the distance from 0 0 now this is what 0 1 and 1 0 now if we see this points that is 0 0 and 1 1 and if we calculate the distance between this 
one one it is nothing but the square root of two. If we apply the Euclidean distance, so distance maximum is equal to square root of one minus zero square plus one minus zero square, which is equal to square root of two. <coughs> we will see for both queries, first and query. Now, when we take the and query, we are taking the distance from this point, and when we are taking the or query, we are taking the distance from this point. Now, and query distance and so maximum distance is square root of 2 minus square root of 1 minus w1 j square plus 1 minus w2 j square now here when we are using and query we are taking the distance from here and maximum distance is square root 2 so we are subtracting this particular distance from the square root of 2 now here what is w1 j and what is w2 j now you can observe that the document is same so this is the first keyword which is present in the document and this is the second keyword which is present in the document so if it is present we will get some weight if it is not present we will not get weight in boolean the weight is either 1 or 0 but here weights are different here weights are between 0 to 1 so when we solve the problem you will get the, to know that what is the exact value of w1j or w2j will come for that a particular document now here we are calculated this distance so distance is nothing but dissimilarity but here we want to find out the similarity so to find out the similarity they just divide by the maximum distance so maximum distance is square root of 2 so when this formula is divided by square root of 2 we are getting this distance as a similarity so we are using this distance to find out the similarity between the document and the query now for or query we are taking the distance from 0 so formula becomes w1j minus 0 square plus w2j minus 0 square and to uh, this is a dissimilarity and to calculate the similarity we just divided by the maximum distance which is nothing but the square root of 2 so extended boolean model we require to use these two formulas for example here only two keywords are present but if three keywords are present at that time our representation is not two dimensional but it is three dimensional so 0 0 0 point will come and the maximum point will come as 1 1 1 so here instead of square root of 2 we require to use square root of 3 and for this square we can decide whether we want to go for which type of distances so for example if we decide that we want to calculate the Euclidean distance so here square root of 3 will come but here when we take for the Euclidean distance the two value will come so that is nothing but our perception that how we want to find out the distance between the two points now for simplicity just assume that whatever the value of w1j and w2j are between 0 to 1 but when we solve the problem we are getting the different value because that value is obtained by multiplying the local weight and the global weight now here for similarity for simple purpose we keep that whatever the calculated value of w1j and w2j we will get between the 0 and, 0 and 1 so here for air and query we are getting uh, this is the dissimilarity distance and we are interested in the similarity distance so when we are giving the query in which two terms are there so when both terms are absent in document we are getting the zero when one of the term is present we are getting the 0.29 so this is a change from the boolean model in boolean model for and query here we are getting 0 0 0 and only here we will get the one answer but in extended boolean model even any one of the term is present we are giving some value so ranking is there similarly for or query in or query when we apply simple boolean model we will get the answer 0 1 1 1 so there is no calibration between even if one of the term is absent and both terms are present but here if we see the answer 0 0.71 0 0.711 so here we are getting the when both terms are present even in or query we are getting one and when one of the term is present we are not getting the one answer but we are getting the point 71 answer so this aspect you have to understand from the simple boolean model to calculate this value only this formula is required first you calculate the distance and for and query we are taking the distance from 1 1 and for or query we are taking the distance from 0 0 now it may happen that when number of queries are more so when number of queries are more then our dimension is increases so for example when number of for two term query n is equal to 2 as we already seen in previous slide and here we are using p equal to 2 because we want to go for the Euclidean distance 
when number of the terms in our query are three, then we require to use n equal to three. That is nothing but the square root of three. Here we require to use three, three. But when we make the square, at that time we require to decide. We are we are going for which type of distances. If we are going for Euclidean distance, we can use p equal to two. So this is nothing but the generalized formula for the extended Boolean operator. Now here, for example, <coughs> for example here, if the query is given like. Uh, a and b and c and d means continuous and operator is there so we can continue with this formula and for example if query is given a or b or c means continuous or operator we can use this formula but when the formula change for example if the user query is k1 and k2 or k3 now here uh, one of the operation is and operator and one of the operation is or operator so here we require to first treat this as an operation so we require to find out the similarity with respect to this as one term that is k1 and k2 so we will apply this formula and after that whatever the result we are again making the with the or formula so as the formula becomes complex it becomes very difficult to calculate so this is only the problem of uh, extended boolean model that when the query combination comes with the different operators at that time we require to apply the formula with a precise notation advantage a hybrid model included properties of both set theoretic and algebraic models model is quite powerful by varying the parameter p we get the ranking behavior from the vector model to the fuzzy model disadvantage computation is complex assume mutual indep independence of the index terms like vector model here also we are assuming that they are not uh, depend on each other but independently they are treating distributive property operation does not hold for ranking computation now this distributive operation we applied in boolean model when the query is given in the cnf form we convert into the dnf form and after that we are solving the or we are applying that formula of simple boolean model but here if the query is given and if we convert this conjunctive query into the disjunctive form or dnf form then this similarity will not hold so we require to for given query we require to solve the problem by this way and when multiple combination comes into the query it becomes difficult to solve the problem now let us start with the problem <coughs> four documents are there here there is no keyword uh, here there is no stop word and there is no need to apply the stemming operation so we ignore here stemming for simplicity and the there is no stop word so this is the step one second is normalize local weight for each document normalize global weight across all documents then document weight is normalized local into the normalized global and here step five depending on number of terms this is very important depending on number of terms in query apply the similarity function now index terms are computer information retrieval we require to do the normalization so max frequency is required so this is document 1 document 2 document 3 and document 4 now here we write down the count that how many times that particular keyword present in that document after that here we are just dividing by the maximum value now as this there is no change because maximum is also 1 so 1 by 1 1 by 1 and 1 by 1 remains same so this is nothing but the local major for query also we are doing this same technique but actually query is not required once we calculate the document major so we are ignoring here query here now we require to calculate the global major and global major is always across the document so here we will just count whether computer is present in document 1 document 2 and document 3 here we are not adding the uh, frequency but we are just checking whether presence yes or no yes 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 so three times will come okay, so when we apply the idf idf formula is log of 1 plus n divided by ni so when we apply this formula we will get answer 0 0.37 0 0.37 0 0.48 so when the terms are repeated less we are getting the more weight across the document now we require normalization so we will divide 0 0.37 by 0 0.48 and we will get this answer so this is nothing but 
gi and this is nothing but l of ij after that we require to multiply this li and gi so after multiplication we are getting this here query is not required i have just make the uh, excel so that formula gets copied but here actually for query we don't require anything now we have calculated wij is equal to l of ij into gi now this is for document 1 document 2 document 3 and document 4 so here we calculate after that we require to apply the formula of similarity now this is wxj or you can treat as is a first w1j that is first keyword now our query is computer and a hey, one minute huh? hmm. okay first we will explain for the and query so query is computer and retriever so this is w1j and this is w2j now here the for document one we are getting the value 0 0.81 document 2 0 0.81 document 3 0 0 document 4 0 0.80 now here first we apply the distance formula and after distance formula we just divide by square root of 2 now here we are using square root of 2 because only two keywords are present in our query so therefore our dimension is 2 so this is 0 0 and 1 1 point so we apply the same formula only i have explained this formula in previous slide when for simplicity i took this value as or weight factor of w 1j and w 2j as between 0 and 1 only now here we are getting the different answer that is which is between 0.8 and sometimes we are getting the one answer so we apply this formula so here w1j is 0.8 for document 1 and w2j is 1 for the uh, second keyword after applying the formula we are getting this answer so we are getting the answer point uh, this is first apply the dissimilarity function then apply the similarity function and we are getting the answer 0 0.86, 0 0.86, and 0.28. Now here, even both of the keywords are present, we are getting the maximum value. And if one of the keyword is present, we are getting the 0.28. And when both terms are absent, we are getting the value 0. Now next for the OR queries. Now here OR queries, the formula is same. Uh, concept is same, formula is only the change. So we require to apply the formula. So this is all documents and they are related with computer and retrieval. That's why once we get the query and we calculated this value, so query is not required at all in the extended Boolean model because we are comparing with this uh, values of computer query terms only, but we are not taking separating separately query terms. So we are getting this value. So when two keywords are present, we will get 0 0.91. When one of the keyword is present, we will get 0.57. And when both key terms are absent, we will get the zero value. So we require to apply the first dissimilarity function and then similarity function to calculate the ranking now see the result computer information retrieval computer retrieval information and computer information this is our original document computer and retrieval so here computer and retrieval is present computer and retrieval is present means both, both keywords are present so we are getting the value as 0.86 here not any one of the keyword is not present we are getting the value 0 and here one of the keyword is present and we are getting the answer 0 0.20 and if we apply the simple boolean model what will happen that in and operation only this document and this document will get retired and there will be no score for the default document similarly this is the result for or when two documents when two keywords are present we are getting 0 0.91 0 0.91 when not not none of the keyword is present we will get zero and when in one keyword is present we are getting the answer 0.57 so here we are getting the ranking of the documents which is very much important so the documents are record rank according to the similarity score <coughs> now for example if our query is computer and information and retrieval or computer or information or retrieval so here n equal to 3 and now this time this two dimension will not come but third dimension will comes that is wxj wyj and wzj or w1j w2j and w3j according to our query terms so when we apply the formula instead of n we require to use 3 that is instead of square root of 2 we are using square root of 3 and here p will comes uh, the here if we want equilibrium distance the p will comes to 
but if we want to go for general age distance we can use the p equal to 3 also so this is nothing but all about how you calculate the distance between the points and the query terms for this presentation information is taken from two books that is modern information retrieval and introduction to information retrieval so this is all about extended boolean model in the next video i may take the problems in which the query terms comes with the combination of and or or simple and or simple or thank you